everyone so today I'm doing a decluttering video and if you feel like you've seen this introduction already you probably have because I'm using the same introduction for every decluttering video in this series so feel free to skip ahead if you already know what this video is all about so basically this decluttering series is me going through all of my makeup every single product and getting rid of heaps of stuff that I just don't use anymore don't like you know I just really want to cut back heavily because if you've seen my makeup collection video you know I have a lot of stuff and it just puts me off from trying new things sometimes because it's so overwhelming there's too much stuff and it's just you know it's very intimidating to try and find things when there are just products everywhere and you just don't even know what you have anymore so I am getting rid of a lot of it I know you guys will be asking straight away like what are you doing with it don't just throw it away don't worry I'm not throwing all of it away I will throw away the stuff that's uber uber old and nasty anything else that's still usable will be going to a friends and family if it's like quite well used or anything that's new or lightly used that can be sanitized is going to be donated and my favorite kind of places to donate are the women's refuge and I think this stuff will most likely go to look feel better I know you guys be like please do giveaways I already do do giveaways and I've got a whole suitcase worth of products put aside for you guys so follow me on Instagram and on Twitter because that's where I do my giveaways most frequently there are gonna be quite a lot of videos because there is a lot of stuff there are a lot of different types of makeup and I kind of categorized it all so stay tuned for all of them I'll link all of the other ones down below as they come without further ado let's get started Hey guys, so today is one of the lipstick um, section. There are a lot. This top drawer is probably going to be the least cleared out because these are like my favorites. And then I also have a couple of drawers down here full as well. So let's begin. So first off straight away I reckon I can get rid of these Urban Decay ones because I haven't even opened them yet. So I don't think, you know, I'll be using them anytime soon. Although I kind of am curious to see what these two look like. Yeah, not a huge fan. This is one of those things I have to try on to know if I love it or not. But I just want to keep these ones unused so that I can donate them. Oh god, I just dinged it with my finger. Luckily I actually really like that colour. Oh my god, what's going on? Is that as low as it goes? Why isn't it? Why isn't it going down? Oh, there we go. Okay. That's a fail. I don't know why that's happening. Back here I've got heaps of my steel. I'm going to get rid of my Napoleon Curtis. I have this stealer back here that I don't really reach for, so let's just go through them quick. This one here is called Amelia. That's like a kind of deep pinky color. I haven't used that. I'm going to get rid of that one. Where is Avery? Because Avery is my favorite. There we go. Avery can stay. Betsy can stay. That's a really nice pink color. What's this one? Valentina. It's a bright orange that can go. Bridget. I'm going to keep that one. That's quite cool. Olivia. That can stay. It's a really nice nude. That's like purple, and then this one here is nude. I'm going to hit the nude one. I think what I'm going to have to do is just get rid of like entire lines of the ones I don't really like, and then for the ranges I do like, just, you know, keep them there, because otherwise this is going to take me so long. All right, I'm going to get rid of my Givenchy lipsticks. They leave like a really weird taste in my mouth. They're just like a kind of sheer formula, if you can see that. Do I like these, my Vincent Longo lipsticks? Yeah, I do. I do. I do, I do. These are three concept eyes lipsticks. I'm gonna keep those. Oh god, this is a nightmare draw. I swear to god. It would be. Do I like this? This is so stressful. I'm gonna leave the rest of these pretty much. I'm just gonna put all the Marc Jacobs ones together. This is another Givenchy one. I'm gonna get rid of that. So if it smells anything like the others, I just don't like it. Okay, the rest of all of these brands I really like. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these cargo ones, just because I don't reach for them ever. Three concept eyes can stay. What are these? These are makeup store lipsticks. Oh, that's so pretty. Those can stay. Oh my god, that color's stunning. All right, and then over to the Mac. This is way too difficult to clear out right now. Um. I'm definitely going to get rid of all these Moisture Mist lipsticks because I never reach for those. And then I'm just going to pop all these MAC lipsticks down here. I feel like that's like a whole another video or something, getting rid of all my MAC lipsticks because there's just so many. Seriously, I'm just putting these wherever I can right now. And then over this side, all of these here are my Buxom lipsticks. I really actually like those. And then I've got MAC, MAC, some MAC, some makeup store which I love. Napoleon Purse can go. What are these? Mac. Some Bobbi Brown lipsticks. What are these like? 
kind of average. I'm gonna get rid of those Bobbi Brown. And then my Inglot ones can stay. I love Inglots. Um, so that's that. And then we have more MAC ones down here. And then these ones can go because these are really, 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 really old. They're from like 2013, I think. Beautiful, beautiful colors. But just, yeah, they're just very old. Very old. Like some of my MAC lipsticks are also very old. But yeah, I'm going to have to like actually spend a couple of hours going through all of them. And then at the back here, I have, ooh, crap, Dose of Colors, which are really good. So those can all stay. Um, and that is everything for this drawer, I think. Yep, okay, next drawer. Okay, this is where we are going to see a difference, I think. So all of these can go. I just don't like the formula. These are the Lorac lipsticks. I don't even know if they still sell these, but I bought every shade because the colors are freaking amazing. Um, and unfortunately, they just don't perform well at all. I'm gonna keep my Slim NYX lipsticks. I'm gonna get rid of these ones though, the little round lipsticks. Is that what these are called? These are old school, like YouTube OG lipsticks. My Rimmel can stay. Um, these NYX ones can stay as well. I really like them. And then over here I've got some Wild Candy. I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't really reach for them. I mean, come on. I don't reach for a lot of these, but you know, I kind of know what I reach for the most. Now down here we've got some Buxom lip glosses. Don't really go for them, they can go. But these ones here I really like. These are the Maybelline ones, so I'm gonna keep them. Um, and then down here we've got some Korean brands, so I'm just gonna keep all those. We've got Tony Moly, we've got, who even made these? Lee Wally. Um, so those can all stay. This here, Rebecca Stella, I don't use that. My Topshop ones, I don't use those. And then all of these, these are Sports Girl. I'm gonna get rid of all of them because I never use these either. As you can see, <laughs> the colors have like melted on the end, which is not a good sign. And then I'm gonna get rid of all of these. These are the Dragonberry lipsticks. I just don't use them. And then back here, we've just got some more Korean brands, which I'm gonna keep these because they're really beautiful, soft colors. And then these are like really cute as well. And I really like those colors too. They're like little Love Heart lipsticks by Holika Holika. These ones here are so cute too. Look at this. So nice. I think these are Lou Ali, I think. I'm going to get rid of all of my Berry M and Sleek. I'm gonna get rid of these. I think these are collection, the deluxe lipsticks. Ooh, that's not a good sign. I mean, this color is super pretty, but I just don't reach for them. I also don't really reach for these. These are the Benefit lipsticks. I think they've got new ones now, which they are gonna be sending me. And I'm so excited to try them because I do like the colors a lot. I just don't really reach for these, so that's why they are going. I'm trying to be ruthless, like trying, trying hard. I'm gonna get rid of these Color Whispers by Maybelline. I don't really use them, I prefer my Benefit ones. And then these are all of the matte and macaron colors by NYX, which I'm also going to just keep. I'm just gonna move them over here though. My Maybellines can stay, I really like those. What are these? Revlon, I'm gonna get rid of the Revlon. And do I want those collection ones? I don't know. And it's free can stay. Australis can go. These can go. The 14 hour megawatt Superstay lipsticks by Maybelline. Don't really use those ones. I'm gonna get rid of the Fergie lipsticks by Wet n Wild. Might just get rid of these because they're quite old. Got rid of a couple of those. And then that's that drawer done. Now to the last bit, which as you can see, I've got like a crap ton of Chi Chi. So I'm gonna leave the Chi Chi alone because I really like them. Um, I've got some Kiko here, which I'm gonna get rid of. More Kiko. This is super, super old. I'm gonna get rid of that. It's a Korean brand. It's a beautiful color though, look. It's really nice, but yeah, super old. I'm gonna keep my body shop. I love these, they're so nice. Some more Kiko. Why are these ones in a different packaging? They're pretty. But I just don't really use Kiko much. Jolly Rouge Papaya by Clarins. It's quite a nice color, but I don't reach for it. And then I have these Karen Mural, which I'm gonna keep. These are like natural lipsticks, they're really nice. And these are Zoeva, are these nice? I haven't really used them. I might get rid of them. I'm gonna keep these L'Oreal ones because I haven't really tried them out yet. I'm gonna get rid of all of these LA Girl lipsticks because I just don't use them. And I think I'm gonna get rid of my e.l.f. ones too because again, I just don't really use them. That's actually a Smashbox one. I don't know why that's there. I'm just gonna reorganize this side a little so I can fit everything in like one portion. I'm gonna get rid of some of these Rimmel ones actually. I prefer just these ones.
So I just got rid of a couple of my chichi. I'm just getting rid of this one because it's just like a lip balm. All right, so there it is for now. So that was completely full and I've got it down to that much. And up here is the amount of friggin' lipstick that I am getting rid of so far. So many. Um, but yeah, that's that drawer. And then eventually I just need to go through all of these again and get rid of colors that I don't like. Because obviously I like the formulas of all of these. So then it gets down to the colors and blah, blah, blah. But that's for another day. Because that'll take me 20 more hours. And I've already been filming these for like three days, so. <laughs> okay, so down here I have like OCC lip ties and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to get rid of all of the Sweet Pea and Faye ones. Because I'm just going to keep the OCC. I've got like a couple of sleek ones. I am going to keep my three concept eyes ones. And I'm going to keep this Beach Tint by Becca. However, the Becca can go in a different drawer. Like, I think I'll put that in a blush drawer. It's really pretty. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of lipsticks in here. So all of my Tom Ford ones and all of my YSL I'm keeping 100% because I'm kind of like a collector. As well as my, um, what are these? Lamasca ones because those are all just like favorites. So all of that's fine. Um, onto this side again, I'm going to keep, like, this whole drawer is just going to be a waste of time to show you. Um, all of these are three concept dyes, all down here, and I love them so much. All of these ones are Melt, which I'm keeping. All of these ones are Smashbox, which I'm keeping. All of these ones are brand new, and I'm going to keep them for now, because these lipsticks are actually so legit, the Smashbox ones. So I don't want to get rid of any at the moment until I have time to go through and look at every single colour. Then there's, like, even more Smashbox ones, and even more Smashbox ones. Smashbox, Smashbox, Smashbox. Okay, I have some Zah, which I can get rid of because, again, it's just so hard for you guys to get a hold of them. So I'm just grabbing all of those. Okay, and then down here I have my Lip Land Cream Corset, which was the Samantha shade, I think. So I'm going to keep that. And then I have these Bullets by Topshop, which I actually really like these colours. So they can stay. I'm just going to chop them there. Some MAC lipsticks. Let's actually have a look at these shades. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Charlotte Olympia collection. Yeah, I actually really like those shades. So those can go up here. And then down here I've got some more MAC ones. So I'm just going to look at these shades to make sure I like them. Yep, that shade's nice. That's called Sargonaut. And then I have these, what even are these? MAC. Are these lipsticks? Oh, they're like a liquid, I think. Yeah. A liquid. I'm going to keep them for now because I haven't tried them. I'm not too sure if those are still available. Um, and then I have this MAC lipstick. Chris Chang. Gold ZZ. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Yellow. Going to get rid of that. Don't need that. And then Whirl. Ooh. He's not set in properly. Um, I really like that packaging. So I might keep that one. Okay, and then we have some of these Urban Decay lipstick. I'm actually just going to get rid of these. I don't really reach for my... Oh, but that one's so pretty. God damn it. I don't really reach for um, my Urban Decay lipstick set off. What's this color? Oh, it's quite sheer. I'll keep this one. <laughs> I've got some of the Vice lipsticks. So I'm going to go through all of these. So this one here is called Conspiracy. It's a metal one. Um, I don't think I'll really wear that. This one here is a Mega Matte 714. That's a stunning colour. That's like a red, like a bright red. Then we have Pandemonium, which is a Mega Matte Purple. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Firebird, a cream. Oh my god, I love that one. That's kind of like Rebel by MAC almost. Similar kind of hue. Iris Beth. I don't know. It's like a red colour. It's quite pretty. This one is Disturbed, a Comfort Matte. And that's beautiful. We have Big Bang, which is metal, so no to that one. I'm just going to get rid of the metal ones. What's this one? That's a blue metallic one. This is a MAC lip gloss of some kind. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so we've got Naked. I'm definitely going to keep that. It's such a beautiful colour. It's just like the perfect everyday pinky nude. And then we've got 
back talk, a comfort mat. That's nice too. I really like these ones. Rocksteady, which is a cream finish. That's stunning. Okay, yeah, I like all of these. Last one is Menace, a comfort mat. That's so pretty too, it's a really bright pink. So I'm gonna put them all up above with the other Urban Decay lipsticks. All right, and now we've got this Dior, what is this called? Dior Addict Lipstick in 581. Oh my God, that's so pretty. They can stay. I have my Lip Erase by MAC, which I'll get rid of. Now I've got heaps of these Lip Gloss Pots by Coloured Rain, which I'm gonna keep, because um, they're really nice lip glosses. But I'm going to get rid of these two products here, which are like cheek and lip colors by MAC. I just don't reach for those. And then also I've got all of these Anglot blushes, which I don't reach for either. There's another MAC lipstick hiding down here. A really nice bright fuchsia. This is called Do What, but it was a limited edition. And then down here I've got all of these Maybelline like pencils and I really, really like these. So I'm definitely keeping them. And then there's also a couple MAC ones and Bite Beauty and just like some other random brands in there. So I'm gonna keep all those down there. And then this is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. Um, I'm just gonna keep that because I really like that color. They can just chill out there for now. And then down here, I'm um, gonna get rid of the Zara. I really like these. These are by Etude House, I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna get rid of this Givenchy. I don't know that color. Um, what's this? Mm, I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't even know what that brand is, Mana. Okay, I'm gonna keep the rest of these. These are all just like balms and stuff, which are really good for like light makeup days. And then this lipstick has Art Deco. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't really wear that. And then this is a Tarte one, which I guess could just chill out in there too. Okay, now onto these. So I'm definitely keeping all of my Mellow. I love those. And these are Bite, so I'm gonna keep them. Then I've got some Chanel, my Jadi or Gadi or whatever that is, that can go. And then I've got this Bobbi Brown lipstick. That's really pretty like a bright deep red so that can stay um okay now i have these colored rain lipsticks i don't really wear them so i'm gonna get rid of those i'm gonna keep my bh cosmetics um what are these called they're like the little color what are they called pop art lipsticks or something like that i did a lip swatch video on them they're really cute all right so there's some more rimmel ones in here and i really like these ones these are the moisture renew I really like like just the formula. I'm just gonna go through them and get rid of some of the colors. I love this one. This one's called 360, as you want, Victoria. This one's not so nice. Get rid of that one. And then these three are the, what are these? Moisture Renew, like the older shades, I think. I don't know if they still sell these, but I look, you wanna keep them because they're beautiful colors. Seriously, like, look at these. Sorry if it's not in focus, by the way. This is like, eh, really difficult. Yeah, I love the colors, so. Um, I'm going to put those up above with the other Rimmel lipstick that I have. That one's nice too, like a nude. And then over here I have an Inoxa lipstick. I just really liked the colour, but I'm going to get rid of that. And this is a Misha lipstick. It's so pretty. I love the colour. It's in the shade 04. And then all of these are ZA, so I'll get rid of those too. Beautiful lipsticks, but again, just so hard to get, so I don't like using them in videos. I'm just gonna put all these Smashbox ones down the other side. Okay, so that's the bottom drawer. Not a huge difference in that drawer, but still a little one. The bigger difference is, of course, up here. And while I'm here, I might as well just go through my liquid lipsticks as well, because again, I don't think there's gonna be as many for me to get rid of out of my liquid lipsticks. These are them down here. Just because, again, I'm not going through every shade. I'm just going to get rid of the ones that I don't really reach for, like the actual formulas and stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll go from there. Okay, so down this side, down, you kind of can't see. Let me just turn the camera. There we go. Down here are all my Kat Von D, so they are definitely staying. And then my favorite lip glosses, my Butsum lip glosses down here, which are also staying. There's not actually going to be that many things I can chuck away because I actually went through this drawer recently and got rid of so much stuff. Um, but I'm sure I can find a few. Like, I think I'll get rid of these Model Co liquid lipsticks. Don't really use them. Um, what else is in here? These L'Oreal lip glosses are pretty, but I don't really reach for them. Let's swatch one. Oh, that's so pretty though. Nah, I'm gonna keep them for a drugstore option. And I've got like my Urban Decay lip glosses, which I like these, but they're quite sheer, but it's good, you know, because sometimes I want a sheer gloss. And I've got my, um, liquid lipsticks by Lipland, which I really like. 
more of these pop sticks, which I'm just gonna put in that drawer above me. I'm also gonna put these in the drawer above me. These are the Color Blur Liquid, I mean not liquid, lip pencil things by Maybelline. And these are epic, I really like them. I did a video on them ages ago, like I'll show you what they look like. You basically like twist the end and then it's just like a super, super pigmented pencil. They're really good. I'm gonna put my NYX, um, what is this even called? Soft matte lip cream just down here somewhere. I've got my lip plumpers by Too Faced. I really like them. Um, Mellow liquid. I have my NARS lip glosses, which I got rid of recently, like most of them. So those are all good. My Mellow um, liquid lipsticks, which are really good. And then some dry cosmetics ones. Some Galactic, I've got some like top coats and stuff, some Natasha Denona, I've got my little like lip changing, with well, these Mood Matcher Luxe um, pens which I got rid of heaps of them too, but I left my favourite ones in there. So that drawer's pretty much done. Oh, back here um, are my liquid lipsticks by BH Cosmetics, and I have my Smashbox lip glosses here, which are quite nice. And then at the back here I've got my lip lingerie by NYX. Alright, so that's that drawer definitely done. Now let's go into the middle section. So, down here are my liquid lipsticks by Jeffree Star. These I love, but I put one on the other day and it was all separating, so I feel like the formula's off on some of them. They're really good though, the um, LA Girl matte lip gloss things. I have actually heard some people say they don't like them, but when I did a lip swatch video of these, I really like them, but they've just started going really streaky, so that is a total bummer. I might just get rid of them now. Yeah, I reckon they're just like old or something. I don't know. And then down here I have my Sephora collection Luster Matte Liquid Lipsticks, which are so good. And I've got my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks and Lip Glosses and then Too Faced and a random Bobbi Brown Lip Gloss. Um, so I'm just going to organize all this. Okay, I'm just going to put all my Jeffree Star ones all the way down the bottom now. Because I've got so many. And then I can put away my new um, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. So they will just go in here. So pretty. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'm not going through all those colors. I could definitely get rid of some of those lip glosses at the back from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Love the lip glosses, but there are a few I don't really reach for because they're very like glittery and stuff. I don't really want to get rid of any of my Jeffree Star. And I don't really want to get rid of any of my Too Faced Melted. I like really like them. I'm a big fan of them. So moving along to the last part of the hair. We have the Rimmel liquid lipsticks. These are so good. I like these, so I'm keeping them. And then I've also got the Aqua lip things. Is that what they're called? Aqua Rouge by Makeup Forever, which I really like. So those are all there. They are like super long wearing. And I've got my lip lacquers by Smashbox. This one here looks like it's lost so much of its color. Okay, just kidding. It just needed a max. So those can all stay. Um, I have my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, which I really like, so they can stay there. Mac Jacobs lip glosses. I've got this Buxom liquid lipstick in Nudist. This is the only one I liked from the whole collection. I bought it in Sephora in Vegas. It's a really nice like nude color. I reckon I can get rid of a couple of these. These are the YSL like stain glosses. But yeah, I just don't really, actually, let's just get rid of all of them. I have used them quite a few times in videos and I like them, but I think I'm over them. Okay, then I've got my Bite lip glosses, which those are not going either, because I love those. Um, I've got some Kryolan lip stains and liquid lipsticks. I've got my Chi Chi liquid lipsticks. I've got these Pony Effect liquid lipsticks, which I haven't really used yet. Maybe I should just pass those along. I actually have a lot more of these MAC Retro Matte lipsticks to fit in here, so unfortunately these are getting the chop. And I think I might get rid of my... Oh, no, I don't want to though. I'm going to get rid of my MAC lip glosses because I just don't really reach for them if I'm doing lip gloss, so they can go. And I'm going to get rid of my L'Oreal um, lip stain things. Again, there's something I liked, but I'm just over them. Woo! And then I'm going to get rid of these. I don't really reach for these that often, but they are a good dupe for like kind of a similar product to the Melted Lipsticks by Too Faced. They're a little bit more lip glossy. And then back there are my, what are these? Paint and Polish Lip Pencils. I really like these as well. Like, I don't know. They're just so pretty for like an everyday wear kind of product. 
So I'm just going to keep them for personal use, even though some of them are discontinued. Um, and then back there are my Chi Chi liquid lipsticks, like I said. I don't use them a lot, so maybe I'll get rid of them. I really like them though. I don't know. I might just keep a few of my like favorites. So Hollywood Harry, Aries, Harris, Aries, Flirt, Simply Stunning, Starly Star, Socialite, Manita, Blonde Ambition, Crazy in Love. So I'm getting rid of all of these. I'm proud of myself. Alright, so there we have it. I think that was a pretty good effort considering, you know, as I said, I had to do a clear out a while ago of my liquid lipsticks and got rid of heaps of brands I don't like. So now, like, most of these are just like favorites. I feel really bad getting rid of my LA Girl liquid lipsticks though. I kind of regret that. Anyway, I'll get over it. I'm just putting some lip glosses over this side from that first drawer. Actually, I might go through these Natasha Denona. Um, Oh, but they're all so pretty. Seriously, the shade range is on point. Oh, nah, I can't do it. I need to keep them all. So here is my liquid lipstick drawer now. Um, I've got lots of space now here, and I've got more room for my Jeffree Star lipsticks I haven't put away. And by the way, if you're wondering where all my other liquid lipsticks and stuff are, they're up on these things. And up there, I need to clear out all this stuff too, but... I don't know if I'll do that on camera or off camera. I've done a lot of decluttering videos now, but anyways, that's where I'm at. I've got more room for some more of my retro mats that I need to put away. Um, and if my Anastasia Beverly Hills collection grows, I've got a little bit more room and I need to just go through the colors and get rid of some stuff. That's the next job is to go through all my lipsticks and get rid of more. But for now, I think I've done a pretty good effort. And if you didn't think I got rid of many, think again. There's my foot for comparison. <laughs> so many. So yeah, now I've got to organize all of these, figure out which ones are brand new, which ones are donatable, which ones I need to throw away, etc, etc. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye!